Okay, so this is a uh, video clear things up, hopefully. This is the uh, landline telephone. I'm using this uh, X-Link Bluetooth, the XBT2. And I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it seems connected. Nope. Oh, it's not connected. So, uh, first let's connect it. I go back down to the basement for that. Okay, so here is the X-Link Bluetooth thing, and uh, it's not connected. It'd be a blue light on. Let's see what's going on with the phone here. Eh. The Bluetooth is turned on. It's not connected, so it should just connect automatically. I'm going to turn the Bluetooth off. I'm going to delete this from uh, my telephone here. So, unpair. So I've unpaired it. If you haven't used this before, you only need to do that. So I'm going to hold this button down. And this just start flashing like crazy. See, there we go. Now it's uh, searching. So we're going to go back on here and go to your Bluetooth. It varies depending on. Uh, it says it's searching. There it is, right there. And we'll just press pair. Now, if it asks for a password, it's 0000. zero, zero, zero. Are we paired? Yes, I guess we are. We're paired. So let's go back upstairs and see. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Sorry about that. If it's connected now. And I just hang it up in the ceiling right there. And the wiring throughout the house goes to multiple phone jacks upstairs. So here is my. Uh... A wireless phone. Oops. It's connected to the same thing as the uh, phone, the corded phone in the kitchen. Let's see if we have uh, service now. Yep. And uh, let's try dialing a telephone number. So here's this phone. It's connected to my cell phone right now. We're going to put that right here. We're not going to touch it. And we're going to go in here. We're going to dial. It's obviously working, it looks like, because it says the regular dial tone. Oh, brother, that's impulse dialing. <laughs> Hold on. I fix that. Okay. Oh, should be ready now. So the telephone number that I'm going to use today is 202-762-1401. And that'll call the time line here, and we'll see if it's working. And I'll show you how to demonstrate it. But it should do. It'll take a minute and then it'll go to here. Oh. <laughs> it should be a lot louder than that. And uh, I can hardly hear it. And I was messing around and I accidentally found out some tricks. Actually, more like messing it up. And I had to contact the uh, people that manufacture those Bluetooth things. Try to get a way to fix it. So here is the DT. MF code to adjust the volume. You can adjust the volume like that. Oh man, sorry. You can adjust the volume going up and down. But I have mine turned all the way up and it should be loud and it's not. And that's because I messed it up. So that, these, this, is, this is how you fix it. So you're gonna. I'm gonna try DTMF code. So 
for the receive volume, six is loud, one is quiet. And you'll do asterisk, 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 and then pause for a bit. And then you'll do one, one, and then uh, whatever volume we want, six being the highest, one being the lowest, and then pound. So I will try here. And pause. Yep. There it is. It pops up on color ID. And then we'll do one, one, three, pound. And there we go. It's changed your RX volume to three. And it's hung up on me. So that's how we program that. Now, if you want to do the transmit volume, three being the loudest, one being the quietest, it'd be asterisk, 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 pause, one, two, and then the volume you want, and then pound. So, I've changed the receive volume on mine. Let's see if we can hear it now. Let's uh, dial the same number. 202-762-1401. We should trigger this phone. Yep, we're dialing it. Not answering. Hello. What time is it? I've never had that number not answer. Uh, okay. That was a fail. Nobody's answering. Now let's try this telephone number. I don't know what this is. It's probably another time number. But we can see if we can hear somebody here. This is in Boulder, Colorado. Well, I got the other number to answer, and it's still too quiet, so we're going to reprogram this and go from 3 to 5. So I hit the dial tone here. Whoa. That was weird. It was having some kind of feedback, I guess. Star, star, star. And then it shows it up on here. One, one... One, I'll do six, I guess. And, uh-oh. That didn't work. <laughs> there we go. That worked. So let's try that time again. At the tone. Oh yeah, well now we're loud time. now. <laughs> 20 hours, 22 minutes, 45 seconds. Universal time, zero hours. Okay, so that sounds good. I just put it on six and I guess it wants to be loud. So it's just the transmit volume that's down here. I don't need to do that, but we can try it. I have an echo line, it's 909-390-0003. I can mess around with it. And uh, see what's going on here. So let's, let's see what it is now. I'm going to dial it in the line and we're going to hear what it is now. Okay, so now we're recording. Okay, so now we're and we're on the echo line. We're on the echo line. And that's what I sound like that's through the telephone like and back. So, in order to do this, we have to get off here. And we'll, we'll make us louder if we can. I don't know. It might already be loud, so. Okay, so that's 
And then, uh, one, two, three, star. And now we're transmitting. The volume is all the way up. And let's see what we're going on here. I'm going to dial it, and we'll be back in a minute. This telephone number is from Ontario, Canada? Maybe? Hello? Hello? Whoa. Whoa. I can hear the echo in the room the now. Echoes. Well, yeah. that's cool. That's cool. So uh, we could try to make a, I could try to make a call to somebody. That'll be the best way. And see if they can hear me. Using, like, the telephone or the ported landline. And that's all I have for right now. If you need help with something that I didn't cover, you might be best contacting the uh, company. They get back to me pretty quickly. And I had this thing all messed up to where I couldn't hear the talk on the telephone. It's been down for about two or three weeks now. And this is the first time that I've been able to call and hear it because the volume wasn't loud enough for me because I had accidentally turned it down somehow. So, thanks for watching, and uh, goodbye.